Empire Windrush's story starts before the Second World War, when Blom and Voss shipbuilders of Hamburg built a ship between 1924 and 1931 and named her MV Monte Rosa. At the start of the war, Monte Rosa was allocated for military use by the Germans, used mainly as a troop ship. In May 1945, she was captured by British forces and taken as a prize of war. She was later converted at Tilbury Docks by the ship repairing company Green and Silly Weir for use as an immigration ship and renamed MV Empire Windrush. Her very first voyage in 1948 was a memorable one, docking in Kingston, Jamaica, to pick up servicemen who were on leave. An advert had been placed in a Jamaican newspaper offering cheap transport on the ship for those who wanted to come and work in the UK. Many former servicemen took this opportunity to return to Britain, while others decided to make the journey just to see what England was like. The landing of the Empire Windrush and its passengers at Tilbury on the 22nd of June 1948 was to mark a significant moment in our country's history, in the building of what we know today as multicultural Britain. In recent years, passengers on this ship and others who arrived later from the colonies and Commonwealth had been regarded as the Windrush generation. From the late 1940s to the early 1960s, thousands of men, women and children left the Caribbean for Britain, encouraged by the 1948 British Nationality Act, granting citizenship and right of abode in the UK to all members of the British Empire. The 802 Caribbean citizens on board Empire Windrush were the first of around 500,000 Commonwealth citizens who settled in Britain between 1948 and 1971, invited to live as British citizens and help rebuild the mother country after the Second World War. So the Windrush turned up for the here on this landing stage in Tilbury, 22nd of June, and that will now be 72 years ago. But in fact, it actually arrived the night before and parked down the river. Um, and came up here in daylight. Most of them have come over here on the sort of promise of work with London Transport. They were only paying 20 odd pounds for their ticket, so it was subsidised heavily from Jamaica. But don't forget, there were another 400 or so on the ship who paid full ticket price and were just normal travellers. They came, they got their baggage, they got their custom check, and they got on a, bought a ticket, got on a train and went wherever. London Transport, you would have thought, would have had lots of buses and things to take these people and ship them to temporary accommodation but they hadn't and there was a bit of pandemonium on the dockside because there were 200 people in the baggage hall and the whole of the building with their luggage not very much luggage some of them I imagine and they were waiting to hear how they were going to get to London Transport in the end they were bussed to Clapham South underground station, the Deep Shelter, which is way down, it's below the northern line. These poor people who'd come from the Caribbean and put them down a hole in the ground and say there are bunk beds down there and there's a canteen down there, and there's a doctor and nurses down there and tomorrow the man from the Labour Exchange is coming with all the details of all the London transport jobs. You don't need to come out at all until we, we place you. And some of them were there for as long as two or three weeks. And these poor people, I can't help feeling that they just didn't know what they were letting themselves in for. And I have a feeling that somewhere along the line, wires got a little crossed. And some of them done very well. Some of them were, suffered quite a lot. Um, and for which, you know, we can only be sorry, really. Uh, it, it's, um, it, it's a great shame. It's very poignant for me to be here right now because I've never been to Tilbury and you know in terms of Windrush and the celebration and the history I realize now that my father um, when he came here he came here by boat not necessarily the Windrush but we still have his ticket the ticket of on the boat that he traveled which is all yellow and faded and crumpling you no know, Windrush is not just about people coming from the Caribbean that were invited here. 
by the Queen to come to the motherland, you know, and help rebuild Britain after World War II. Those things are really important to understand so that our generation know that there was work, that we came here for a reason. And we did a lot of good work here, and I really feel that we kind of changed different, you know, fads, fashions, cultures over the years. There are a lot of mixed race relationships, so diversity has really changed over the years, and I think those things are important to understand as well. Because the more we know about each other's culture, the more we break down those barriers of negativity. Caribbean Takeaway Takeover, Identities and Stories. It's a project which took place in a, in a cafe takeaway in Colchester in 2018. And um, what I found was when I sort of visited Colchester first, for the first time to see us sort of on a gallery project with First Sight, etc., I came across this amazing takeaway. I thought, it was like, where did this place come from? And I sort of went in there to have lunch and I decided that, and I saw the people inside, they were all elders having lunch and they were just talking about their stories and I was sitting there listening to it, listening to the, the exchange and I thought to myself, wouldn't it be amazing to have an exhibition just to highlight all those amazing stories? So I kind of made an installation in, in, in the actual space and created a sort of like, I, I, I interviewed them, went to different locations within Essex to interview them and sort of just try to tell their story in a really innovative and uh, sort of community focused way as possible. Over the past, I don't know, over the past two, three years, the migrant has become a victim and become a sort of like a, a focus of political banter and political kind of table tennis in a sense. And, and this is an exhibition about celebrating positivity and the value they brought to this country. A lot of these people were nurses, they were not, they're, not, they're not pop stars, they're not celebrity. They, they worked in hospitals, they worked in railways, they were orderlies. And these people, uh, are, I'm passionate about bringing their stories to the wider public. Missing family and home, Caribbean migrants made their own social spaces, recreating elements of island life in home basements, throwing parties centered on pulsating ska rhythms and homemade rice and peas, curried meats, fried dumplings and rum. As popularity of residential parties grew, they eventually moved to the streets as carnivals with makeshift steel barrel jerk drums and Caribbean kitchens recreated in vans. The British street food phenomenon we see today has its foundations in Caribbean carnival culture. The people of the Windrush, their children and grandchildren, have played a vital role in creating a new concept of what it means to be British and were important pioneers in our multicultural society in Britain today. Windrush Day was introduced in 2018 by the UK government on the 70th anniversary of the landing of the first Caribbean migrants at Tilbury Docks in Essex for the purpose of encouraging communities across the country to celebrate the contribution of the Windrush generation and their descendants. On the 22nd of June every year, the day will feature activities such as dance performances, exhibitions, talks and debates across the UK. Windrush Day encourages us to challenge racism, prejudice and discrimination and celebrate companionship and community. Let's celebrate.